guys, this is Scribbly again with another product review and today we are going to talk about a fairly interesting product that has largely not been reviewed on uh, YouTube or wherever else on the internet. I mean like there are some few videos and comments and posts about those pens but as said they are not that many um, and the pen that we're going to talk about is called the Super 5 fountain pen. Uh, I've got this bunch here sent for review by a German seller called papierundstift.de which uh, basically translates to paperandpen.de so if you're interested in those pens that's where you can pick them up. Thanks for sending that bunch here to me for review. They're available in a couple of different colors. Uh, I think there is a white one available as well which I don't have here with me but more on those specific pens in a minute. I also got a small brochure about those pens as said fountain pens but they are also available as ink rollerballs, ink cartridge rollerballs that have a small ink window here. I also do have one of those here with me. Um, they do also make water, so um, Super 5, they also make waterproof ink and those waterproof inks basically come in all the different colors that the pens also do come in and the ink colors and the pen colors have the same name. So the orange is called Daily, then there's an Australia, Dublin, Atlantic, Frankfurt and Darmstadt and I do believe that the black is called Darmstadt because they are manufactured in Germany and they actually sit in Darmstadt Super 5 and as far as I understand the basic intention of inventing or actually producing those pens they got invented back in 2013 if I've read that right was to manufacture a very affordable and super reliable fountain pen and I do believe or pen and I do believe they su quite succeeded with that. Um, there is a neat little gimmick that you can do with those pens like those end caps here. They can be screwed off and you can just swap them out as you can swap around the caps. Um, if you like to play around with color and I've read somewhere that the point of being able to do that is also that if you would have for example a yellow pen in which you put blue ink then you could mark the yellow pen with the blue cap and you would know that it's blue ink in that pen. So if that's something that you're into that is something that you can do. Okay let's have at the look a look at the pens in general. Um, one thing that I want to say in the beginning is that yes they are very reliable pens like one thing feature that i noticed and i want to try that out right now here live in the review and i hope the pens won't disappoint me is there is no need for a platinum slip and seal whatever mechanism those pens here do just have a simple inner cap i think you can see that here but the interesting thing about those pens is that you can actually uncap them for a pretty long time and they will not dry up on you. So what I will do right now and I hope it will work. Um, I've had those pens laying around uncapped for quite a while. So I'll now uncap this pen and I will leave that laying here until the end of the review. And then I will do a writing sample with that pen and we'll see if it's still right or if it has then dried up. I mean normally they do not dry up that fast. Let me take that pen just to take you through the pen. It's a very classic cigar shaped pens. By the way, those pens, yes, they are pretty affordable. They cost around 25 euro, which is somewhere in between a Lamy Safari and a Lamy All Star. So it's a pretty affordable pen. They're plastic resin. Pretty classic cigar shaped pen with a rounded cap and a round end blind cap. As I've already told you, you can just screw that thing here off. Inside you see an ink cartridge and then you can swap those around. I'm not sure if you could, no, you can't eyedropper convert them because of course, as we see in a minute, also the section here is metal, but yeah. So otherwise a pretty classic cigar shaped pen. All those pens do have a black clip sitting here on top of the cap. Has a small swing to it here. It's a plastic clip. It's a pretty tight clip for being a plastic clip but it's very usable so that will work very well and then as said the pen does have a snap-on cap that you pop off like that inside um, as demonstrated on this other pen right here a minute ago a small transparent inner cap you will then expose a metal section the nice thing about it, it's a black metal section uh, very glossy has some ridges here 
The section is actually really comfortable to hold. However, it is that glossy. It is not slippery. I never had issues with that section or pen being slippery. And the fun thing is that that small front part here is slightly, or not slightly, it is transparent. You can see the feed through here. You also see blue ink in here. So it depends on what kind of ink color you have in that pen. You will actually see that also right here. Now, uh, the cool thing about the pen is that it is actually available in a number of nib sizes. And I uh, took the stickers off the caps right here just to show you that. So there is a medium, uh, the black one is called Darmstadt. Then there's a blue one, which is called Atlantic, that is broad. Uh, a yellow one, the yellow one is called Daily, and that is a 0.5 millimeter stop. Then I have a green one here that is called Dublin, that is a 0.7 millimeter stop. And I had a red one that is called Australia and that is an ink roller. So these are basically the available colors with the corresponding names. And then of course the medium broad 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter stop and the ink roller. Those are available in all the colors. So that means of course you can also get a, a blue medium or a yellow ink roller or whatever. I guess you got the principle. So that's that. Then the nib itself and now the yellow one that we're looking at here is the 0.7 millimeter. What I've done here, these things that I've written down here, they don't correspond with the actual pens here anymore because I was like swapping forth and back sections and caps and uh, rollerball versus fountain pen a little bit. So don't get irritated by that. So it's a fairly simple steel nib having a breather hole there saying super five. And then this here is the 0.7 millimeter stop and they do fill with a simple standard international ink cartridge you can of course also um use a you stay here use a i think that's the one that i've inked with a converter they all have the ink cartridges inside that they came with that one here has a caveco or online germany convert i'm not pretty sure it's inked with diamine uh, Syrah, I think. So yes, you can also use a regular converter in those pens here. And uh, then I will show you, I think this here is the ink roller. Also very nice. The ink roller now does not have a metal section that has like a rubbery, uh, a slightly textured rubber section, which is also very, very comfortable to hold. As said, it does have a little ink window here. Uh, in which you can actually see the ink level. That cartridge here is still pretty full and there's no backlight, so that's why you can't actually see the ink level. But if you hold it up against the light, you will be able to see the ink level. Then you see a small feed in here and then the tip here. Opening it up and in here you have the ink cartridge and there's also space here at the back of the pen for a backup ink cartridge. So you'll actually never run out of ink. And of course, the nice thing with that is that you can refill those from bottled ink with a syringe and you can use or buy cartridges that are available in a number of colors and you can use actually any ink color that you would want to use. One thing that I've not shown you is here on the barrel. That is the only very minimal branding that those pens have, say Super 5 uh, here. Oh, like that, yeah. And that is of course on all the pens. On One can't really see it very well on the black pen. But yeah, it is also there. Let's do a quick size comparison. I get Alami Safari. It's a fairly average sized pen, I would say, compared to a black Lamy Safari. And I think it's safe to say that they do almost have the same size. And once we uncap the pens, the Lamy Safari is a tad longer but not a lot and also I think the section is fairly similar in diameter where you would probably grab the pen so I think uh, it's safe to say that if you're comfortable to write with Alami Safari you should be all right with that super five fountain pen here one thing that I have to say about the pen is that it is a fairly heavy pen like that I mean yeah, it's, it's actually quite has some good weight to it, which of course has to do with this solid painted metal section here. 
And uh, because this here is only plastic, that is super lightweight. That weighs basically nothing. That here, uh, on the contrary, is pretty heavy. And that also is uh, something to be aware of with these pens, is that they are actually pretty front heavy. Some people do not like that. I don't have a problem with it. I actually enjoy that because it like really without me, uh, I mean, the pen basically writes under its own weight from this metal pushing onto the nib. So you shouldn't exert pressure anyway when writing with a fountain pen. But when writing with this fountain pen, I find it's even easier because like, yeah, you just have the pen laying here in your hand and it basically writes on its own. That is not the case with uh, the rollerball because the rollerball also is plastic here and it's actually a featherweight. So there is a very, very notice noticeable difference in weight in between the fountain pens that have the metal section and in between the rollerball that does not have a metal section. Now, one thing that one also needs to point out with those pens, for 25 euro, they are very well-made pens, but of course you can probably not expect you know, excellence in manufacturing or I don't know what. So there are a few things that are noticeable on those pens, which is that this lacquering here or the coloring of the, I mean, the color of this plastic here, you can see that has a slight structure in here that I don't want to say it looks cheapish, but you know, it doesn't really look, you know, extremely high quality. Uh, and then also those end caps here that you can actually swap out are not always exactly perfectly aligned. Um, as you can maybe see here, it's a bit better on that one. I think on the black one, it was a bit more noticeable. You know, they're not, they not always exactly perfectly aligned, but yeah, you see it best on that one here. But well, to me, it doesn't matter. It's a 25 euro pen. It does what it's supposed to, it writes, and it does that extremely well. So on to a writing sample. Let's do a quick writing sample with all of those. Zoom in for that a little bit. And I'll start with the one that I was putting away at the beginning of the review. I'm now looking at about 12 minutes into the review. Uh, so that means that that pen was basically down for about probably 10 minutes. Okay, now it had a, has a starting up problem, but you see it come up pretty fast. Uh, if it would have been down only three minutes or so, it would have written straight away. I promise you that because I've tried that before. I just wanted to give that a very long live test. So that were 10 minutes was a bit too much, but not a lot too much for the pen, uh, as you can see. So now we start with the broad nib. Super five broad. Um, they are very, very wet pens. They write very well. They're very wet pens. Um, this here is the 0.5. I want to take the medium first. I think the green one is the medium. This is the medium. Super 5. Medium. Very, very wet writers. Very pleasant. I like that. That unmarked here is the 0.5 millimeter stop. And I think that is the one that they started out with. I think that was the first pen they made. Probably that's why it's called Super 5 because it's a 0.5 millimeter stop. And that does actually give you quite some nice line variation here. Very lovely. Then we have the 0.7 millimeter. That one here is now marked. Super five. Of course, me as a lefty writing with a stop, it does almost write like an architect because uh, if I don't underwrite, now it's a stub, but as a lefty that side writes, I will now write with that stub as I would with an architect grind. And then finally, we do have the roller ball that writes somewhere in between a medium and a broad, I think. The roller ball. This here was the broad. Let's 
and then we have the medium, uh, which is actually writing almost as the broad right now, which is, uh, I believe, because it's somehow slightly wetter and has maybe more ink inside. Well, that's that with those Super 5 fountain pens. I find them really nice. They look a little bit vintagey. Um, looked almost like those vintage hard rubber pens. Find them really nice for 25 euro, really affordable, really nice and great pens. If you wanna pick one up, um, you can pick them up at papierandstift.de. Uh, thanks for watching the review and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.